resist and Ohm's law in AC circuits. The voltage V across a resistor is proportional to the current I traveling through it. See the page on drift velocity and Ohm's law. Further, this is true at all times, V equals Ri. So, if the current in a resistor is I equals I max sin, omega t, we write V equals R dot I equals R dot I max sin, omega t. V equals V max sin, omega t, where V max equals R dot I max. So for a resistor, the peak value of voltage is R times the peak value of current. Further, they are in phase, when the current is a maximum, the voltage is also a maximum. Mathematically, phi equals zero. The first animation shows the voltage and current in a resistor as a function of time. The rotating lines in the right-hand part of the animation are a very simple case of a phasor diagram, named, I suppose, because it is a vector representation of phase. With respect to the x and y axes, radial vectors, or phasors representing the current and the voltage across the resistance rotate with angular velocity omega. The lengths of these phasors represent the peak current I max and voltage V max. The y components are I max sin, omega t, equals I, t, and voltage V max sin, omega t, equals V, t. You can compare I, t, and V, t, in the animation with the vertical components of the phasors. The animation and phasor diagram here are simple, but they will become more useful when we consider components with different phases and with frequency-dependent behavior.